What's up, YouTube? It's Cincy Cuber here, and today I have a very, very special unboxing. I am so excited. I have been dying for this to come, and it has finally came. As you can see, this is in a DHL packet, and anyways, it don't matter. So let's get to it. Ooh. Look what we have here. Wow. Got the Paris Rubik Speed bag. I already knew what it was, but <laughs> I just wanted it to be a surprise for y'all. But it comes with a bag already. Comes with the tensioning tool. I don't know if you can see that. And it comes with the card, just like the um, Gans, because it's by Gans. Ooh, it feels so good. It feels so soft. Okay, what's next? I also ordered this the uh, Gans blue bag so I got two I didn't know it was going to come with the gray one but that works for me got two now time for the actual cube wow look at that I got it all packaged in bubble wrap of course why wouldn't they ta-da it looks so nice oh my god I was so excited for this I don't know oh there let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, it's not so focused, but come in a pretty pretty case. Comes with the GE the yellow GES springs, the GANS core. And it come in a plastic box. Let's go ahead and open it now. Oh, sorry if it's blurry. There. Let's see, how do you open this? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Wow, look at that. And I got the limited edition too. I don't know if you can tell. Let me zoom in for a second. One more. There we go. See that? 2017 World Championship Paris Rubik's brand Speed Cube. So let's go ahead and take it out. See how it feels. I'm so excited. I just had to get this. I couldn't resist. Ooh, it feels so light. And I don't know, but as many of you are, I'm pretty sure y'all know that Hold on. This sucks. Okay. This comes in tiles. But, like, it's not the typical shiny tiles as, um, as, like, the newer Rubik's or, you know, the Rubik's Speed Cube. It's, like, frosted. I don't know if you can tell. Sorry, I'm still trying to work on this focus here. It's kind of hard to tell. But it kind of got a frosty, like, gloss to it. There we go. That's better. Look at that. Got the logo right there. See? You can see with the light hitting off of it. Kind of got a frosty uh, feel to it and look to it. It's not shiny. The tiles aren't shiny. But anyways, the colors, so far I like the colors. It's, um... I guess standard colors I don't know it's okay it's not too too bad except the yellow I wish the yellow was a little brighter than this and the white kind of seemed a little off-white I guess you call it but other than that it's really it's, it's not so bad so let's go ahead and turn mm. wow that's pretty good and it feels so light it feels so much lighter. Oh, I meant to... Let me go grab my regular uh, Rubik's. Okay, I'm back. Now, look at this. Now, mind you, when I started cubing, I used this Rubik's brand. This was like 2010, and I got this from Walgreens. Look at that. Hold on, let's see. Look at this. Look at my stickers. They look horrible. Horrible. This is when they had stickers, not the tiles. I have the sticker kind. Look at that. That's just all torn up. 
But anyways, I just wanted to compare it to my original um, Rubik's brand. You hear that? It sounds so blocky. It just sounds uh, so, so ugly. I don't know how else to describe it. But here's this one. Hear how quiet it is. So light and just, just wonderful. I love it. Oh yeah, that's so much better. That's much better. Because compared to this, ugh. You see that? I can't even, of course, no kind of corner cutting whatsoever. None. And this, ooh, big improvement. Oh my gosh, well, it gets stuck a little bit, but look at that. That's a big improvement. It just feels so good. It don't even feels like nowhere near like a Rubik's. Rubik's brand. If you was to touch this without looking at it, you would have thought it was a Gans or any other speed cube besides Rubik's. You really would have. So anyways, um, obviously from the way it feels, I have so far nothing bad to say about it. <laughs> obviously. I mean, whoops. I don't know what I just did. Oh, there we go. It's, it's just very light and fluid. I really love it already. Um, I'm pretty sure they put some lube in it and I will, um, show pictures of the tent, uh, of the mechanism of it. I'm not going to really take out the pieces cause I'm not so mechanic, but yeah, it's just, yeah, that was ugly. Look at that. You know, of course I would have to break it in a little more to see what I don't like and what I do like about it. Um, but I already got to say out the box, it's just awesome and i would kind of consider this i would recommend this as a good beginner's cube for um anybody you know that uh, that want to you know get into cubing this is a pretty good like rubik's brand to start out with i know we all started out with rubik's and it was just so blocky and just a hot mess and just you know breaking our fingers and nails and whatnot and just tearing up stickers but this and it's not and not it wasn't that um expensive either i gotta say it was about i think around 20 something dollars i gotta look again but it was not that expensive especially for a limited edition that's just my quick review i think i'm gonna go ahead and um do a few solves maybe and see how i like it and then later on in the future i'll probably uh do an updated um, review on it or maybe a newer, you know, a few more sauce to see how I really like it and see if there's any flaws in it. But, you know, I'm not a cubing expert. I'm not all that technical about stuff. I'm just giving a quick review and, you know, something simple, plain and simple. Like I said, I'm going to provide the pictures of the mechanism so you can see what it looked like. It just looked like a typical gas. I don't know if you can see in there. It got the little ridges. It looked just like the Gans, you know, nothing too different because obviously the Gans made it. But, um, yeah, so that's my quick review. And I'll do a few more solves so we can go check that out. And that'll be it. Okay, so after I have done the five solves, I finally have my review on what I think about this cube overall. So the first thing that I noticed was the colors. They The colors are easily recognizable. So that's a plus for me. I didn't have any trouble trying to figure out what colors was what, and it just made it a lot easier. But the thing I got to say is the tiles. I don't really care for the frosty tiles, tiles because... It caused it to be really slippery in my hands. I didn't feel like I had the grip or good control over the cube. And at times it just felt like it was going to fall or slide out my hands while trying to solve. So even with warm hands, it's still, I still didn't feel like I had control over it. The cube is a tad bit slower, but much faster than the original Rubik's Cube. So I would definitely recommend it as a speed cube or a beginner speed cube for any beginner speed cubers out there willing to learn. For me, though, executing finger tricks was a little harder and I experienced a lot more lockups. For some reason, when I was trying to do 
my PLLs and I was trying to do the finger tricks for them, I just kept on locking up and I could not, you know, it, it would be hard for me to practice my finger tricks on this cube due to the fact that it wasn't flexible in that area, if that makes sense. So, but other than that, I still like it. I just don't really care for executing finger tricks on this cube. It still performs very well, even though when solving slow or fast, but it doesn't have that very fast, flexible feel. Although you can tension it because it does come with the tensioning tool, and it already has the yellow GES springs installed. So if you already had a previous GANS cube with the uh, choices of the different springs, I'm pretty sure you can't replace the springs and have the cube fit your needs better. Corner cut was very beneficial and M slices was just flawless. I was able to do the M slices much better without overshooting. And I think that's because of the slower speed. But like I said, it depends on the person. So if a stiffer cube is better for you, then it may be, you know, it may be for you. But if not, then you probably will have to play around and tension it to your to fit your needs. Overall, my rate my rating due to the performance is an 8.5. I have to say it is a major improvement for a Rubik's brand. They definitely improved it. I never thought a Rubik's brand would be this good. So the fact that I was able to get my normal average, it made me feel like this cube is still capable of being used at comps and maybe even give cubers their new PBs. I don't know. Maybe. So that's all for my review. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next video.